Hello and welcome back to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are on the website of David Doggleby uh, Auctioneers based in the UK, another new uh, auction house uh, to me in any case that I picked up uh, looking for stuff in the sale room. Uh, so they have a, a auction of musical and scientific instrument cameras and maritime stuff coming up on the 19th of uh, November. It is the 15th today, so a few days to go. Um, this is, uh, like I said, based in the UK, so if you're outside the UK, then check all the information about shipping and stuff. This is a new website to me, so I'm not too au fait with them. Uh, but the buyer's premium is 20%. You can buy via their own live system or the sale room, etc. Uh, it's just 88 items for this um, musical instrument part of this auction. So uh, I think let's just dig in quickly and just see what we can... Uh, what we can find really um, and if there's anything super interesting we'll click in so there's a Swiss musical box by LF Geneva probably Le Culture Frère um, then there's a 19th century Swiss musical box for restoration late 19th century symphonium disc musical, bo musical box 49 27 centimeter uh, musical box discs, that's interesting, and an Edison standard phonograph with oak bass. Uh, now we're getting into some instruments, so there's a German violin circa 1900 with uh, clots uh, impressed into the back. I think we've all kind of seen this uh, standard uh, thing. <coughs> Quite a lot of uh, pictures there, but a pretty standard uh, thing nevertheless 250 to 300 is the estimate seems a little high and an early 20th century German Ernst Kreuzler violin you can see a few pictures here nice case to be fair um, they're looking 500 to 700 and this seems very expensive already I can tell where this is going with this auction Another 1900 Magini type copy, three to five hundred. There, once again, seems definitely a bit too too much, in my opinion. And a German violin, uh, circa 1900. They're saying here, the Golden Strad bow. Fairly normal. I'm um, not sure why we can't just skip to the next lot, unfortunately. Seems a bit strange. Um, Louis Bazan nickel mounted Pernambuco cello bow. Fine double bass by Albert Volkman. So a few. Not it's a little bit annoying the picture set up the way that it uh, forces you to want to look at the top uh, a German viola circa 1900 let's have a look at that a quick look at the pictures here looks fairly fairly standard Chinese silver mounted Pernambuco violin bow, another violin circa 1900. Fairly standard. French Pernambuco viola bow there, with Matthew Paris, modern viola, another modern violin there, modern violin, student's violin, whole load of cello bows there, another. Uh, viola here. Quite a few pictures. Finding it a little bit awkward to navigate here. Uh, let's have a look at this. An early 19th century German cello requiring complete restoration. Yeah, I think someone's had a good go at uh, butchering it already. So, quite a few pictures, which is good, but a bit annoying that you have to continually then go up to the top to view it so it's a little bit annoying Maidstone 
Carlisle in there, and uh, Medifino, said nothing too crazy. Windsor, banjo, five string banjo, auto harps, ugh, horrible. Um, melody, melody ukulele, four string uke, banjo, and the Italian eight string kind of mandolin type thing. Spanish concert, uh, classical guitar there, a couple of electro acoustics, Epiphone Les Paul, Saxony violin from 1930, nothing too crazy. Another Medifino uh, a violin there with a bow, a case there, boozy and hawks, all plated cornet, and a, a melodeon, an Italian piano accordion, another piano accordion, piano accordions, another piano accordion, another piano accordion, a whole load of bows, some just random violins here, a whole Hofner cello there, French violin circa 1900. Uh, German violin, uh, circa 1900, copy of John Betts, apparently. So, I'm looking for three to four hundred on that. Seems a bit uh, excessive. And a German trade violin there, unmarked. German silver mounted Pernambuco violin bow. There's a gramophone, and then you've got uh, Pearl Musical Instruments Amplifier, uh, Watkins Electric um, Copycat, Some with Trouble and Bass, which is a good classic amp there, so that's interesting. 1970s Fender Twin Reverb, 7 to 900 there, Laney Professional Speakers, Vox Volume Pedal, Rao Industries, Toledo, Ohio, Diamond Guitar, Volume Pedal. Various flutes, Holton Elkhorn, Supertone stringed uh, kind of accordion type thing, brass tenor saxophone by Adolphe Sax, Trevor James the Horn brass alto saxophone, Italian Fontellini piano accordion, Seppens music method, uh, interesting, Buffet crampon uh, clarinet there, and then Artemis brass alto saxophone. Early 20th century silver mounted Pernambuco bow with ivory frog, stamped Dodd. Let's have a quick look at this. How good can you zoom in? You can zoom in, but the pictures aren't super high definition. It seems once again a bit uh, a bit pricey, the estimates on this. Roderick Pacehold, silver mounted Pernambuco violin bow, Alfred Knoll. Silver mounted Pernambuco violin bow, violin bow, even ovation electroacoustic Hofner Countess acoustic guitar, Schechter Diamond Series 7 string guitar, 1972 Gibson SG Mahogany electric guitar in the USA, which one Rosewood and Nickel three section flute by Buffet Paris, uh, Rizolonia or Rizolonia Banjalady acoustic guitar there. Late 1990s F frame Sheraton, small German Alvaro piano accordion, German section three quarter size cello, early 20th century German violin, copy of from Genie, um, a French uh, metronome there, uh, giant acoustic guitar with mahogany back, Ramon acoustic cutaway guitar, Ibanez left handed cutaway, and oh, that's probably the most interesting uh, thing so far. A 19th century uh, parlor guitar, probably French. 50 to 100 that seems fairly actually reasonable uh, so yeah I think that uh, actually looks okay to be honest not too bad um, so a few interesting things in this auction um, the layout of the pictures are kind of throwing me off a bit from going too deep into it so this has just been very quickly looking over it it's perhaps a little bit of an unfair run through because uh, my throat is uh, affecting me a bit at the moment um, but yeah there's an auction with a few instruments a lot of the things seem a bit kind of overpriced and not that interesting to get into too in depth if they were interesting then I'd spend a bit more time looking at the photos and really kind of uh, talking about it but um, yeah it's definitely uh, an interesting uh, auction and uh, yeah check it out I'll put a link in the description and uh, see what you think until next time, ciao for now.
Bye. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.